Hello there and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham and our scripture for today comes from Colossians 1 verse 3 to 4. And it says, we give thanks to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. I repeat, we give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints. Now, I want to divide the scripture into three parts. And the first part says, we give thanks to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, here was um, a, Apostle Paul in the Colossians. He said, giving thanks to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Apostle Paul was giving thanks on behalf of the Colossians on behalf of all the brethren and the faithful in Christ who were relentless in their showing love and showing faithfulness um, to the works of God. So he said we give thanks to God. So he's giving thanks on their behalf to God and Father of Jesus Christ. He says praying always for you. So Apostle Paul was always praying for the Colossians to um embolden them to encourage them in christ to give them that boldness to give them that goodness to give them that continuity irrespective of temptations and challenges that come with serving god so he was praying and all or praying for them always he says then he said since we heard of your faith in christ now this was a prayer to encourage them to embolden their spirit this was a prayer for God to give them the grace to continually walk in Him, to continually do the works which they were focused on doing for Christ and continually show their faithfulness, their loyalty, and their commitment to the things of God. So it says, since we heard of your faith in Christ and of your love for all the saints. So the Bible says the greatest of all is love. So here um, they was an acknowledgement of the saints who were showing love to their fellow brethren and Paul for that reason was continually um, putting them in his prayers to God that God continually helps them to grow that the grace and the mercy of God be upon them to continually grow in the word grow in Christ grow in the followership of of the path of under the lordship of the person of jesus christ now i want to pray that god is able to expand our minds on this word that god gives us the grace and the selflessness to be able to pray for those that we see that are trying to follow after the gospel those that we see that are trying to follow after god that god continually helps us to to, uh, with the grace to pray for them as the Spirit leads us. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless, God bless. In Jesus' name, Amen.